Hello to all incoming grade 7. Have the Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram is a chart that demonstrates how different ideas are related. So we have this Venn diagram. This is the diagram. And we notice that we have two circles which determine the two different sets. And we have also the U, which is the universal set. Definition, universal set is the set of all elements under the discussion. Let us start with union of sets. In my class, before I'm going to discuss this union of sets, I always ask my students, what are the synonyms of union? Some will say the synonyms are merging, joining, or combination. Well, those terms are correct. Union of sets, if we're going to draw in a Venn diagram, this is our universal set. And we have set A and set B. Combination of two sets. So that means combination of A and B. So if we're going to shade, this will be the result. The combination of set A and set B. That means all the elements in A, in A we're going to combine with all the elements of B. Let's have example. Let's say our universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Then set A is 1, 2, 3, 4. While set B is 2, 4, 6, 8. In our union set, it is denoted by the symbol, the curve symbol opens upward and that is read as A union B. Let us use this example. We're going to find A union B. So we're going to combine the elements of A and the elements of B. So A union B is we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, we don't have 5, we have 6, 7, we don't have, so we have 8, we don't have 9. So we will end that in 8. So that is the union of sets. Next is the intersection of sets. It denoted by this symbol, the curve that opens downward. And bef before I discuss this, uh, I always illustrate uh, a strip in near in our school. We have the uh, Cadena de Amor and the Amapola. And ask my students, what is the intersection of these two strips? So they will say that's, that this is the intersection. The intersection point. Then after finding the intersection, I will ask them, what are the, or what is the definition can give us in the intersection? They will say, or some will say, the synonyms is common. Yes, that means A intersection B 
If we're going to draw in a Venn diagram, A, B, the common of in set A and in set B. Where is the common in this figure or in this diagram? This one. This is the intersection of sets common in set A and in set B. Let's try another example. Let's say we have the universal set A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And set A is A, B, C, D. While set B is A, B, F, G, H. Now let us find A intersection B. So our definition, it is the common in set A and in set B. So we can just simply cancel in the given. Cancel A. So the common is A. B is also common. How about C? There is no C in B. How about D? There is no D in set B. So are there any, any element? So there is none. So that means we will end this one. How about if your teacher will ask, draw this given in the Venn diagram? and write the different elements. So let us try in this area. Venn diagram. The intersection are elements A and B. So write in the intersection point A, B. Then the remaining elements for A are C and D. So write, this is for A, Write C and D. And the remaining element for B are F, G, and H. We can remove the comma. Then, if you notice, we have, we have already A, B, C, D. We don't have E. Where are we going to write E? since it has written in our universal set. Yes, outside the circles. So we're going to write E outside the circle. It can be here, here, or here. Any. Any part of inside the rectangle. We have F, G, H. We have I in our universal. So we can write it under our or outside the circles. So that is third is the complement of a set. Denoted by the symbol A prime, or read as A prime, or complement of set A. So by definition, co complement of a set are the elements that's not contained in any set. So does not contain in set A or in set B. If we're going to write in a Venn diagram, not contained in any set. So which part are the complement of A? So outside the circle. So we need to shade outside the circle. So these are the complement of set A. To further understand, let's have another example. Let's say the universal set is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And set A is 2, 4. We can immediately find the complement of A. So A prime is... The elements does not contain in set A are 6, 8, 
and 10 minutes. If your teacher asks you to draw in a Venn diagram, given this, so we can draw this diagram. So we have A. Our A contained two element 2 and 4. Or we can erase the comma. Outside A are 6, 8, and 10. So that is the complement of a set. And now let us proceed in our last set. We have the subset. Subset is a set that is part of a larger set. It denoted with the symbol of this symbol. And it is read by X is a subset of Y. If, or it means that every element of X is an element of Y. To further, under, to further understand, let us have example. Let U be the first 10 counting numbers. X is the even numbers from 1 to 10. Y, 2, and 8. First, let us draw using the Venn diagram. Venn diagram. So we have A. So from the definition, subset is part of a larger set. That means this set is smaller than the other one. So X is the even numbers from 1 to 10. So what are those numbers? We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We notice that we have set Y contains 2 and 8. So let us find 2 and 8. So this is the set Y. Now, our universal is contained of first 10 counting numbers. So in this case, outside the circles are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So this is now our Venn diagram. Notice that Y is part of the bigger set which is the X. That is the definition of subset. And now let us proceed in check your understanding. We're going to answer some of the questions. Letter A, given the universal set, letters in the English alphabet, identify A union B. So English alphabet, these are the letters, a, B, C, and so on up to Z. In number one, A is A, D, V, W, X, Y, Z. Set B, O, P, R. We're going to find A union B. That means we're going to combine the elements of A, set A, and the elements of set B. So A union B. So, all the elements of A, that is A, B, V, W, X, Y, Z, then combine the sets in set B. Or the elements in set B. We have O, P, R. We can also arrange our answer alphabetically. Number two, A union B. A, set A has the elements of H, K, L, M, N, S, U. Set B, elements are S, U, N. Find A union B. So the elements of A 
combined with the elements of B. So H, K, L, M, N, S, U. Elements of B are S. So we have S here. We, we already write it here. So there's no need to repeat the element in your final answer. Also with U and N. So we will end this as the final answer. Or we can also write your answer as A union B is equal to the set A. Next, we have the universal set first 20 counting numbers. That means 1 to 20. We're going to find A intersection B. A, uh, set A has the elements of 1, 2, 7, 12, 17, and 19. B, elements are the prime numbers. First step, let us first write or find the prime numbers. Prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Our universal is the maximum is 20. So we will end to 19. Now let us find A intersection B. The common in set A and in set B. So we have 2, We also have 7. We also have 17. And 19. And this is now our final answer. Next. Given that universal set 10, 11, the ellipse sign, until 30. A are the prime numbers, B are the even numbers, C are the multiples of 5. We're going to find A prime or the complement of A. So prime numbers from 10 to 30. So those are 11, 13, 17, 19, after 19 we have 23, 23, next is, is 27 the prime number? No, because we have a factor 9 times 3. How about 29? Yes, our last number is 29. Okay. So we're going to remove these prime numbers to find the complement of A. So we have 10, 12, 13 is a prime, next is 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 24, wait, is 27, is 21 a prime number? Yeah, 7 times 3, 21. Okay, 24, next is 25, 26, 27, 28, and 30. Those are the elements of A prime or A complement. Next, how about B prime? So let us find B prime. Even numbers. So we're going to remove the even numbers. So the remaining are 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 
23, 25, 27, and 29. So that let the universal set, or U, be the letters in the English alphabet. That's A, B, C, D, until letter Z. Identify A union B. For number one, set A is equal to A, D, V, W, X, Y, Z. Set B, O, P, Q, R, S, T. Number two, set A is equal to set of vowels. B, set of consonants. Number three, Mercury, Venus, Earth for set A. And for set B, Jupiter, Saturn. For number four, A is equal to consonants of the word love. And for set B, vowels of the word faith. Now you can pause the video so that you have a plenty of time to answer 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now let's check your work. Number 1, A union B is equal to, just copy all the elements in A and B and combine. So we have A. D, V, W, X, Y, Z for A. Then for B, O, P, Q, R, S, T. If the direction indicates that, arrange your answer in the order in the letters in our English alphabet. So you need to arrange our elements from A to Z. Since... In this case, we don't have any directions, so this is accepted. Letter B, A union B, is the set of vowels. So that is A, E, I, O, U. And letter B, set of consonants. So if we're going to merge or combine A union B, that is also equal to our universal set. So A union B is equal to our U, the universal set. Or you can write A to Z. That is also acceptable. Next, number three. A union B. Combine the elements in A and B. Mercury. Venus. Earth. Jupiter. Then Saturn. Okay. And last, A union B is equal to consonants of the vowel of the word love. So our consonants are L and V. Vowels of the word faith. So we have two vowels, A and our elements are L, V, A, I. So this should be a bracket sign. So make sure that it looks like a bracket sign. Or a bracket sign. So that is our union set. In this case, let U be the first counting numbers. So 20 counting numbers. That means that is from... 1, 2, 3, up to 20. First, 20 counting numbers. Identify A intersection B. So you're going to get A intersection B. The intersection of two sets. For number 1, A is equal to 1, 2, 7, 12, 17, 19. Letter B, prime numbers. Set a for number two, perfect square numbers. Set B, composite numbers. Number three, set A is a multiple of seven. Set B, multiples of three. Find the intersection. And number four, set A is equal to add numbers and set B, even numbers. So you can pause the video so you have time to answer numbers one, two, three, and four. Since you are done, now let's check number one. A 
intersection B. So A, 1, 2, 7, 12, 17, 19, and B prime numbers. So from 1 to 20, our prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Okay. Now, what is the common in set A and set B? Get the common numbers. We have 2. We have 7. We have 17. And we have 19. So, A intersection B is equal to 2, 7, 17, and 19. Hope that you get that. Next, A intersection B. Perfect square numbers. So from 1 to 20, our perfect square numbers are 1, 4, 9, 16. Composite number. So what are the composite numbers in 1, 4, 9, 16? So we have... 1 is not a composite number. Next, 4. Yes, 4 is a composite number. 9, composite number. And 16, composite number. When we say composite number, these are the numbers with have more than 2 factors. So, factors of 4 can be 4 times 1 or 2 times 2. Factors of 16 are 3, and factors of 9 are 3, 9, and 1. 16, that is, factors are 4, 16, 1. Okay, so this is our A intersection, B, 4, 9, 16. Next, A intersection, B. Multiples of 7. So from 1 to 20, that is 7, 14, 21. Uh, 21 is not included. So 7, 14. Multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Do we have intersection of our sets? Uh, we don't have a common element. So this is empty set or the null set. Or empty. Or you can simply write the word empty. Next, set A is odd numbers and set B is even numbers. A intersection B. So odd, those are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and even 2, 4, 6, 8. Do you have intersection? No. So this is also empty. Hope that you get one, two, three, and four. You have four score. Now let's proceed to complement. This time let's have the given u is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20, the ellipse sign up to 50. Place the complements of the following sets. Number one, set A is the multiples of three. Number two, set C. Is the multiples of 10. Number 3, set D is the multiples of 5. And number 4, set S is the multiples of 5, 15, 25, 35, and 45. We are going to get number 1 for A prime, number 2 C prime or A C complement, number 3 D complement, and S complement. If you want to answer, you can pause the video, then let's check your work later. And now, let's check your work. Number one, A complement, or A prime. Multiples of three. Is five a multiple of three? Not, so we can write five. Ten. It's not a multiple of three, of course. 
15, it is a multiple of 3, so we will not include 15. 20 is not a multiple of 3, so we will include for a prime. 25 is not a multiple of 3. 30, a multiple of 3. 35, multiple, it's not a multiple of 3, so we can write here. Then 40 is not a multiple of 3. 45, multiple of 3, so we can write 45, then 50. Okay. So A complement is 5, 10, 20, 25, 35, 40, and 50. Okay. Next, set C, multiples of 10. 5 is not a multiple of 10, so we can write 5. Of course, we will exclude 10. Next, 15. We will not include 20. 25. Next, 35 and 45. Number 3. D, or set D, is a multiple of 5. So obviously, our given is a multiple of 5. So this is empty cell. Next, 5, 15, 25, 35, 45. So our S prime are 10, 20, 30, 40, and 15. So that is the complement of a set. Thank you for watching Senior Public TV. And I hope that you learned something for this lesson in this video so you can share it to your classmates. Don't forget to subscribe.